Okay. Right, you have two skew lines here. You're asked for the shortest distance between them. Very common question. Would have looked at last year. Um, I'll walk you through the steps of it now. The first thing you should be doing with two skew lines is you want to draw a horizontal line. Uh, you want to draw a horizontal line from the one of the end of one of them. You can choose either skew line; doesn't matter. I chose the skew line CD. So I drew my horizontal line coming across from point D. And then what you have to do is you have to replicate the angle of the opposite skew line from the other end of that line. So we're working with the line CD, which means we've drawn our horizontal from D. We have to replicate the angle of AB from point C. So those two lines are parallel. Where they intersect, just label it off as point X. Now we have to find point X in our plan view. So what I did was I dropped it down to plan view, straight down, and it's going to have to be somewhere along this line as we come down. We don't know the exact location of it yet. What we can do is we can look at how we got it in the first place. So to find point X, what we did was we recreated the angle of AB from point C. So we're going to do exactly that in the plan view. This is the angle of AB in the plan view, and we're going to replicate that from point C. That will cross over the path of X as it drops down, and where the crossover is point X. So those two are parallel. Now point X is going to be our line of vision as we look out along here. We're looking out for an auxiliary view, and when you're doing an auxiliary view of your school lines, if you don't get the two of them parallel in the first auxiliary, you've done something wrong. So your point X is wrong. When you're looking out in that direction, you're looking across a level line, you're going to see your two skew lines as two parallel lines. Now, to find the shortest distance between them, the shortest distance could be marked anywhere, but we have to find uh, a second auxiliary to find the exact location of it. So what we do is we look out perpendicular to those two to create a second auxiliary. We should be okay where the measurements come from. Remember, you're stepping back two views all the time to get your measurements. So when you mark off your measurements in your second auxiliary, the two of them appear to cross over each other. Now where they appear to cross over each other is the shortest possible distance between those two skew lines. Remember the thing with skew lines, they don't actually touch each other. But this is where they appear to cross over. So where they appear to cross over is the shortest distance. So drop that back, and you'll see I've marked it off with the arrows. I'll just go over it in pen now. Okay, so that line is the shortest possible distance between those skew lines. Simply just transfer that back to your views now. So you have the exact point on the line CD, you have the exact point on AB, and you have to replicate that in the plan view. So drop those two back. And then drop them up to the elevation. And that's it in all views.